In this tutorial, we're going to talk about orange teal color correction inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduk Film. So orange teal is one of the most popular color correction looks out there. It's in movies, TV shows, you see it on the internet, you see it everywhere. And practically what orange teal is, is you have oranges and blues, right? In this shot, you can see that the person we're interviewing has orange skin and the background is blue. To be most efficient when you're pulling off this sort of style, you want to make sure that the background is definitely more blue than your subject. So what we have here is the daylight hitting the back wall here, which daylight is rated at 5,600 Kelvin. And the our talent here is rated around 3,200 Kelvin. And basically what I did is I set the white balance of our camera to about 4,000 Kelvin. And you're able to get some separation between the wall and subject and you get more of a nice orange teal look. So I'm going to show you how we can do this correctly here inside of Adobe Premiere. So let's go ahead and let's get started. I want to hide our Lumetri effects. So the first thing I want to do is go to our effects window and go to Lumetri Color, which is underneath the Video Effects folder, Color Correction, and grab in Lumetri Color and bring it into our shot. And I'm going to go here and just optimize everything. And if you go up to the Color window over here, you'll have Lumetri Color here on the right. And you can also bring up some scopes as well so you can monitor what you're doing. And under our first window, the basic correction, we have a white balance and we have tone. And so the first things first, I'm going to balance out our shot and see what we're doing. So I want to set the contrast all the way up, maybe even up to like 150. So obviously we can see the difference between the highlights and the shadows. And maybe I'll also bring up the exposure by a touch. And maybe we'll control some of these blacks a little bit. Bring this down, make that a little bit darker. And then go to the highlights and bring that up by a touch. Okay. And then also, lastly, increase the saturation so we can see our color in the shot and see where we're at. So looking at this, we more or less have a light blue background and a green face. This isn't orange teal whatsoever, but we are on a good start. And what we can do is look at the temperature. And this is where this effect is really going to lie. In the temperature, in the color wheels, and also in the HSL secondary controls. So what we're going to do is come here to the temperature. And our goal here is to look at the color contrast between the subject and background. And I want to make the background more blue so we can select the skin a little bit later. So let's come here, decrease the temperature to the blues to about, you know, wherever you need it to be where you like it. And this looks nice and blue for me. And of course, I want to look at the tint as well as this allows me to control my skin tones a little bit. And you might want to look at shifting it to the greens or also to the magentas a little bit. I'm going to shift mine to the magentas by a touch so I have just a little bit more uh, control over my skin and then let's go right into the color wheels and the color wheels is going to work well if you shot it in camera correctly if you need a little bit more help with your shot we're going to take a look at the hsl secondary in a second but essentially what we want to do with our color wheels for the shadow wheel is bring it down to the blues this way you know our shadows will be nice and blue we'll have a little bit more color contrast and then from mid tones and generally the skin tones lie in the mid tones so what we can do is increase this up to more of the oranges a little bit and that looks pretty good. So now we have more of an apparent orange teal look here. It's still a work in progress, but we are almost there. And then, of course, for the highlights, you can see the highlights on our face here that it's still not that orange color. And what we can do is punch that up as well and try to get a nice control there. And now we have an apparent orange teal look, and I'm happy with this. But let's say that your shot isn't perfect. You don't have this perfect color contrast um, what we can do is go to HSL secondary, and this is where things get a little bit interesting. What you can do is go to set color, grab the pen tool right here, the eyedropper tool, and select their skin. And then go to this check mark here, which allows you to show mask. And basically, here's our selection. So what you want to do is add the click the pen tool for the eyedropper add tool and click on areas where there should be skin showing. So I'm clicking on the gray areas that are not in our mask. And that should be fine for now. I'm going to increase the blur by a touch. So it kind of feathers out our mask. And then you can also mess with denoise if it's not perfect. And basically now we have our skin roughly selected. We turn this on and off. You see we have a nice selection here. And now what we can do is also play with the temperature. And we can switch this to a three-way color palette. And maybe we'll come here to the shadows, bring that down by a touch, go back to the midtones. And this gives us the ultimate control over our skin and not affecting the rest of the image so easily we can shift the temperature if we need to 
Okay, so I am primarily happy with this. We have this apparent orange teal in here, and I want to take this even further because since we have selected the skin and we really have manipulated it, we are starting to get color in the shadows, and I don't really want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our effects uh, panel over here and add another lumetry color. We're going to go back into our HSL secondary, click the set color eyedropper, and we're going to select the dark parts of our talent. So basically the skin right here, which is supposed to be in the shadows, so click on that. We'll go back into our color here, or sorry, in our mask. And we see that mostly the black areas of our subject is selected. And that's very important. And what we're going to do is turn this off, go down to the saturation, and we're going to desaturate this by a touch. And then we'll go to the blur. Make sure to blur that out. Really good. And the reason why I did this is so that the blacks would be more black rather than just having color in it. And, you know, this is more of a method that I would use in DaVinci Resolve, and I do still highly suggest using DaVinci Resolve for your color correction, but obviously, if you need to do it instead of Adobe Premiere, this is how you would get an orange teal look, and this should point you in the right direction to get the orange teal look for your footage. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are able to take away a few techniques for your own footage. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to drop a like on it because it helps me out tremendously. Subscribe to the channel for more color correction slash Adobe Premiere tutorials on our channel in the future. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And always be creating.